Hey, we're taking a look at Donatello from Series 1 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Minimates. And I think Donatello's a really cool Minimate. He's got a great expression on his face, even though I'm not a, a real big fan of the gap in between his teeth. It's there and represented and done very well. My mask has the eyes painted a little bit high, so it's not perfect. It's kind of... maybe... It's got a weird shape to it, but for the most part, it looks good to me. So, not uh, any major paint issues or anything like that. Just like Raphael that I reviewed, he has a torso piece for a shell that goes over the body. And he has the sculpted wrists, hands, and feet. And then unique to Donatello, he has the singular, I don't know if you would call it sheath, um, to hold his bow staff. So that's pretty cool. And he has the unique bandana piece. And for accessories, he came with his bow staff. So Series 1 compared to Series 2 wasn't very heavy on accessories, I believe. Um, my understanding, at least, is Series 2 had all the accessories to make it more enticing to get basically the same figure twice, since all of the Series 1 and Series 2 of the Ninja Turtle Minimates share the exact same bodies, first to second series. So, this body is identical to second Donatello figure. So, not a lot to the first wave. But they were our first venture into TMNT Minimates, and I think DST did a great job. I don't know if I like Series 1 more than Series 2 because of the amount of accessories in Series 2, but Shredder was really neat. And I think I like the Krang from Series 1 more than the Krang from Series 2. So, like you see in all the other, uh, or all the other turtle figures from Series 1, Donatello has the eyes not whited out, so that's a major difference. So, you want to take a quick look between Series 1 and Series 2. Bodies are, like I said, basically exactly the same. Just the difference would be the eyes, the expression on the face, and then his bow staff has a blade at the tip. So, I don't know what you call that as far as weapons go, but it's pretty neat. Anyway, thanks for watching.